Good morning, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> and I would like to welcome you all to this hour of prayer. So today I have taken the theme as, where do I put my trust? So the theme is on trust. God trusted the world. And it says that, the gospel says that God loved the world so much that he sent his only son through this world. And uh, Jesus trusted a few of them, and therefore he called them apostles, told of them, and called, and they stayed with him. So that to stay with him, to preach, and also to heal. So that's what the purpose for which they were called. And he entrusted what has been entrusted to him with trust by God the Father. So he entrusted the word with trust into the hands of the disciples. And then, uh, as, as, uh, as we look at Jesus' life, Jesus traveled very less, but he preached to these people, and these people stayed with him, put their trust into him. But there were problems with them. But still, with the coming of the Holy Spirit, the trust in them grew very, very strong. And therefore, they went up. They began to spread to different people. They began to go out of their country and then began to spread the good news. What has been entrusted to them with trust, now they began to preach what has been entrusted to them with trust in the hands of the others. So we also fall as a part of this entrustment. We are trusted and therefore we are baptized. And therefore the word of God is given to us. So let's pause for a moment, truly pause for a moment and ask this Holy Spirit, the entrustment of the Holy Spirit, of the Father, the entrustment of the Son, the Holy Spirit that has been given to us with trust, so that living with Him, going with Him, walking with Him, journeying with Him, we also become trustworthy, so that the word that is entrusted to us becomes much more manifold in us, when we begin to approach others, when we begin to speak to the others. So therefore, let's pray that the Holy Spirit indwell within ourselves at this moment of prayer. It's very important that we pray for that. Today's intention, the mass intention for today is uh, for Leticia's intention. And also, I would like to remember and pray for Florina and uh, for all sorts of ailments, especially uh, ailments with regard to heart, respiratory system, you know, the liver, cancer, and uh, those under treatment that I also would like to pray for all of these. So let's begin by signing ourselves in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You expire Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and an ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O found of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a found of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a found of mercy for us, I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus, as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are ye amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended into hell. On the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the party, and the life everlasting. Amen. So in the first ministry, we are going to pray for our Catholic Church. <clears throat> Especially let's pray for our Pope Francis, as well as all the cardinals, all the bishops, clergy, and religious. Let's uh, also place our Brentwood Diocese in a special way. Pray for our Bishop Alan William, as well as all the clergy, all the religious. And let's also remember to pray for our deanery and all the religious and clergy in its, in its deanery. As well as just remember this beautiful place we have, Our Lady of Compassion Church. We also remember to pray for Father Angela, Sister Immaculata, Sister Patricia. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and bread, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. So in the second mystery, let's pray for our catechists, sacristans, musicians, choir members, lectors, Eucharistic ministers, welcomers, ushers, and altar servers, and those who serve in the church in a horrendous cell in the church. Let's also place them. Let's also, in a special way, remember UK and pray for the country and all those who govern us, as well as the different countries of the world from where we come, as well as the end of this place. And let's play, put all those who govern into the hands of God, because now we need much more prudence and wisdom, so that we may be guided in wisdom and prudence, so that we may be unified together. There may be peace. There may be, I mean, there may be brotherhood throughout the world, and there will be peace all the world, in all the world. Mm. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and bread, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, and mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the third mystery, let's pray for all those who are facing anxiety, 
due to grief, divorce, estrangement, financial distress, personal tragedies, and crippling pain. It also plays all those couples, all those people, those who want to enter into the sacrament of marriage, let's place them in the hands of those who face brokenness in the marriage, as well as let's also pray in a special way for single mothers as well. Let's remember to pray for our friends, our family. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the fourth mystery, let's pray for all medical practitioners who look after the elderly. They are also to place them in the hands of all the carers. The addicted, the poor, the hopeless, the abused, those who face injustice in their life, and those affected by COVID-19. Not in this country, I mean, this country is coming down, they say, but in many other parts of the country, like India, it's on a verge of increase. Iran and other countries. <clears throat> Let's also in a special way pray for all who suffer because of uh, the loss of their dear ones, ailments like depression, disability, addiction, disappointment, poverty, hopelessness and uh, especially loneliness. Let's also pray for all the departed souls. Those who we remember in our prayers, like Romel, Romero, Palm, Rita, Philip, Doreen, Myrna, Johnny, and others, let's remember them in prayer. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and bread, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. In the fifth mystery, let's, uh, I would like to pray for all of you who are listening to me, those who are viewing me at this time, and also those who are going to view me, watch me, and then listen to this. this. I just place all of you into the hands of God. And let's put all your intentions, please do put all your intentions and its altar into this altar. Let's remember to pray for our first Holy Communion children, those who are supposed to receive their uh, 
a holy communion at this time. Let's also, in a special way, remember to pray for all the confirmation children, their, their parents. Let's also put our St. Edward School, those who are teaching there, the staff there, and all the students there, just place them all into the hands of God and pray. Let's also remember to pray for those who are asked of our prayers. Let's also place them into the hands of God. Let's pray for all those who are unemployed due to this uh, pandemic. Let's remember those who are in the transport, as in the police, police department. Let's pray for them as well. If you have any personal intentions, please do place it at this altar. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and bread, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Mortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. O blessed Saint Joseph, faithful guardian and protector of virgins, to whom God entrusted Jesus and Mary, I am glory by the love which you did bear them to preserve me from every defilement of soul and body, that I may always serve them in holiness and purity of love. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Our Lady of Compassion, pray for us. Our Lady of Compassion, pray for us. Our Lady of Compassion, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us.
So let's prepare ourselves to begin our mass. <clears throat> the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? When those who do evil draw near, they stumble and fall. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. So as a mass intention, I said before, before it's Leticia's intention we pray for. And also in a special way, remember Florina uh, and also those who suffer from all sorts of ailments, the ailments of the heart, respiratory, cancer, and, other, and those who undergo these treatments. So let's place and pray for all of them. So let's now call upon the Holy Spirit to be with us, to guide us. So we need him very much, and it's very important that he is with us always, that we need each moment of our time that he be with us, guiding us, what we need to think, what we need to do. And so let's, let's place ourselves, all our worries, all our concerns into him so that he may take all those up into your hand, his hands and he may dwell within us so that we may find an answer to ourselves and do the will of the Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the first book of the Kings. King Ahab called all Israel together and assembled the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. Elijah stepped out in front of all the people. How long, he said, do you mean to hobble first on one leg, then on the other, if the Lord is God? follow him. If Baal, follow him. But the people never said a word. Elijah then said to them, I, I alone am left as a prophet of the Lord. 
by the prophets of Baal are 450. Let two bulls be given us. Let them choose one for themselves. Dismember it and lay it on the wood, but not set fire to it. I in, in my turn will prepare the other bull, but not set fire to it. You must call on the name of your God, and I shall call on the name of mine. The God who answers with fire is God indeed. The people all answered, agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of God, Choose bull, one bull and begin, for there are more of you. Call on the name of your God, but light no fire. They took the bull and prepared it. And from morning to midday, they called on the name of Baal. O Baal, answer us, they cried. But there was no voice, no answer, as they performed their hobbling dance round the altar they had made. Midday came and Elijah mocked them. Call louder, he said, for he is a god. He is preoccupied or he is busy or he has gone on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and will wake up. So they shouted louder and gashed themselves as their custom was with swords and spears until the blood flowed down from them. When they passed and they ran it on until the time of the offering is presented. But there was no voice, no answer, no attention given to them. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come closer to me. And all the people came closer to him. He repaired the altar of the Lord, which had been broken down. Elijah took twelve stones, corresponding to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of the Lord had come, Israel shall be your name, and built an altar in the name of the Lord. Round the altar he dug a trench of a size to hold two meshes of seed. He then arranged the wood, dismembered the bull, and laid it on the wood. Then he said, Fill four jars with water and pour it on the whole of course and on the wood. This they did. He said, Do it a second time. They did it a second time. He said, Do it a third time. They did it a third time. The water flowed round the altar, and the trench itself was full of water. At the time when the offering is presented, Elijah the prophet stepped forward. Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, he said, Let them know today that you are God in Israel, and that I am your servant, that I have done all these things at your command. Answer me, Lord, answer me, so that these people may know that you, Lord, are God, and are winning back their hearts. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the whole of those, and wood, and licked up the water in the trench. When all the people saw this, they fell on their faces. The Lord is God, they cried. The Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Respond so your son. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. Save me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Those who choose other gods increase their sorrows. Never will I offer their offerings of blood. Never will I take their name upon my lips. Say me, Lord, I take refuge in you. O oh Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you yourself who are my prize. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. Say me, Lord, I take refuge in you. You will show me the path of life. The fullness of joy in your presence, at your right hand, happiness forever. Say me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord God. Chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one thought, not one little stroke, shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. My holy will and all my sins be forgiven. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. <clears throat> so our theme was, where do I put my trust? So trust is something sometimes we lose very fast. Sometimes we lose very fast. Sometimes over the years, I mean, sometimes we be walking with people, we say that we yeah, have lost trust in you. And once you have lost trust in a person, it is very hard to bring back that trust which we had. It's very hard to bring back that trust. And look at Jesus, look at God. God loved the world so much, so much he loved that he sent his only son to this world with trust so that he could save his people, the one who created with his hands, the one who has his own image, the one who has its own likeness, and therefore he wanted to save them, and he sent his holy son. And therefore what happens is like the story of the vineyard. A rich man had a vineyard, and then he was, he was supposed to go to a go to different place, and therefore he entrusted them to his service, to, to hired servants, and then they were looking after. And when the time for the, for the fruits came, so he sent his uh, servants, and what they did, we beat them. And then again he sent, and again they did a similar thing with them. And again the third time he sent. And then he sent his only son. So therefore they thought, this is his only son. And if you do away with him, then this shall be ours. So this, this is a story that he, uh, Jesus tells and reminds of the Jewish people that God has trusted and entrusted them with the word of God. And it is for the, with the word of God they need to work. But what happened? Over the years, they had different sets of laws. The traditions became their primary importance, and the laws of the Lord began to be forsaken or, uh, or thrown away, but began like washing of the hands, washing of the plates, and things that smaller things began to acquire importance. As the temple acquired importance, all the things related with the, 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 the unnecessary things began to have importance in their life. And therefore, they began to, began to go away from what has been given to them with trust, that the word of God, that God was with them. And we see this in Moses' case. Moses invites, and God was very angry with the people. And then he intercedes with God, and his anger was quenched. And then he, uh, he intercedes with, uh, with, uh, with Abbe and says, these people are hard-hearted, these people are hard people but I would invite you to join us, come with us. And therefore, the God goes with him. And therefore, this is it. So God is always with us because Moses, and Moses entreated with God to be with us. And today also, we in a way entreat with him, with trust, so that he comes always to us. So trust is very important. And because of this trust, God has called us. Because of the trust he had, he has called his disciples and entrusted the word of God to them, and they had trust. So it has been it has been carried on from tradition to tradition, or from people to people, from generation to generation, from nation to nation. It has been handed on and handed on. And in a similar way, we have a particular situation in Elijah's life. 
where there is there is a there's a fight between or there's a tension between the bals bals as well as uh, prophets as well as against with elijah and therefore he says whom will you trust put the trust in them and then ask i will put my trust in my god who had called me who had entrusted me with this duty and he says that he was entrusted me with this so that i may perform this before you and therefore you may understand that this is the god who has called me and who has entrusted me and trusted me and has given me this opportunity and therefore so that the all those who are up there looking at me may look at jesus look at god and believe in god so therefore elijah puts a test before them as revealed by the god himself and therefore the test was to to slaughter the bull and then offer it to their god as well as his god and they do it and they go around and nothing happens and then the when the offering time comes they offer but still nothing happens and and then then what uh, elijah does is he remembers god's god's covenant is with the 12 tribes with israel and therefore he takes 12 stones and rebuilds the altar and makes a trench and then then put the salted bull on the top and then he put the fire and then he put firewood and then he put water and they asked them to do an extra thing three times to pour it in soak it with water so in a way the whole place is drained with water and no fire can the fire is possible to you know we need something to catch fire but there is nothing that was there which could uh, really prompt or which could be like uh, trigger uh, the, the fire to catch but then he prays to god and praises god and who has entrusted he said who you trusted with me this world and i have done it and you have entrusted this world to me and now i pray to you god who entrusted who trusted with me with this do what you have you have promised that you would do and then you see that the whole thing went so the thing is when difficult times come then test comes where are our mind where do i put my trust even in families when there is difficult situation when there is a problem with trust usually it can happen sometimes happens and then where is where do i put my trust have i put all my trust in the person next to me or have i put my trust in god who has created both of you so this is very important that we reflect upon we have to put our trust in the other person more than that we must put the trust in the lord because everything under this earth is guided by him so through our entrainment with him he may intervene in our life and so he works with us and therefore all our difficulties all the burden that we feel in our heart becomes a very light thing so this is what is holy and this is what happens and suddenly when all this happens and the fire will ca- and the, the and the bull is consumed consumed and then you understand that elijah elijah becomes light because all this worry is all this all this tension all this uh, is all this worry is about the people all this worry is about the people of israel just evaporates because god has worked at that miracle for him so keep on as we go in our life and elijah it's the same thing happened he keeps on going and going again and again but his complete trust was in the lord he kept on trusting the lord and therefore he said there was there was something that kept on burning in the heart of heart and also how also we, we must remember when i trust the lord is my heart always burning for him and therefore jesus says i have not come to abolish any laws or prophets but to fulfill every everything because in jesus every law every prophecy is fulfilled and we know that and when he goes into the cross and he says everything is accomplished so till today what has been written what has been stated in the law everything has been completed to the fullness and therefore what he has called to do in this world relying on god his god because even jesus when we look at jesus he had always the love for his father in his heart and in, when we look at saint john's gospel it's from the beginning till the end it is written in every every everything that uh, jesus says it's a father he connected to the father it's a father it's a father it's a father so his love for the father and therefore therefore the fulfillment is found in the cross when he says when he says yes it's everything is fulfilled and then the centurion concept yes he indeed he is the son of god 
And therefore, this shows that everything is completed. Everything that Jesus has said that he has come to complete was completed when upon the cross. So we too are called to a completeness. We too are called to, to, to be entrusted with so that with trust we may receive what is being entrusted and so with trust we may give to the other person who is near to me so that I can entrust him. So therefore, we need to call them into Christ, into Christ. So therefore, Jesus says, go into the world and preach the good news and then baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Make known the Father, make known the Son, make known the Holy Spirit. So give glory to, in another way, give glory to the Father, give glory to the Son and give glory to the, to the Holy Spirit. And we just celebrated the Trinity recently. So where we remember that God has entrusted and it is God, the Father, Father through Jesus, and then the Holy Spirit, the working of them together. So we are called into this community. We are consumed into this community as Elijah's gift to us consumed because he trusted with the entrustment that was given to him. And in a similar way, let's trust and entrust ourselves so that we also will be consumed so that we becomes a, 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 we becomes a point of reference for us, a point of witness to the other, as Elijah became a witness to the other, all those things. So therefore the cry is like this, oh, the Lord is God, they cried, the Lord is God. And this is the cry that should come out from our, 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 our families, all our families, from all our friends, Catholics, all of us. So that's what is going. So, so for, we are also called to complete ourselves. So let let us pray to the Lord that God, you call Elijah. Elijah, he trusted himself to you, and you worked miracle for him. He has been undergoing a lot of problems in his life. He has been running away from Ahab, but still he trusted with you, trusted you, and you trusted with the words that you gave to him. And therefore, it becomes a point of witnessing to the other. And therefore, you also said, Lord, you came to complete, not even to not, uh, complete your complete the law and the prophet. And in the cross, we saw the completeness of your, your what, you, what you said. We under, understand that, that you are the law, you are the prophecy. Everything comes from you. Everything goes back to you. Lord, we are also called in a special way through our baptism. So we are also interested with trust and therefore, Lord, what is being trusted and given entrusted to us, let's keep in our heart and also in a way bring others to you so that we can trustfully give and trust what has been given to us, the word of God, so that they also become a true witness to the Lord and call out, the Lord is God, the Lord is God. And therefore, we see in Thomas, my Lord and my God. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. We are in a spiritual way gathered here, dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption. Let's therefore ask Almighty God that the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessing and life. For our Catholic Church, especially we remember to pray for our Pope, Francis or the Cardinals, Bishops, clergy, throughout the world, so that trusting in Christ, they may preach the word of God with authority, vigor, and become fruitful communities of faith, bringing the scattered people together to the Lord. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our priests, who comfort the faithful, encourage the hopeless, and inspire those who have lost their relation with God, May they have the wisdom to know what things to correct and what things to ignore and have the sensitivity 
to make their corrections with love, kindness, and tact. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's so especially pray for deacons, all our catechists, sacristans, musicians, choir lecturers, Eucharistic ministers, welcomers, ushers, all to servers, who surrender their service in the church, and who's, all those who serve with their faith community, grant them guidance and protection through the Holy Spirit. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let's pray for this country, especially UK, and also for all the countries from where we come, and let's place all the world into the hands of God, where our voices do make a difference where we have the freedom to live our lives in accordance with our beliefs, where our potential is not limited by our parentage, and where we have the opportunity to raise our families, to profess our faith in faith, comfort, and abundance. Lord, strengthen us as well as those who govern us in wisdom and prudence. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For those who face anxiety due to grief, divorce, estrangement, financial distress, and other personal tragedies, may they be protected from crippling fear and place their trust in the Lord, knowing that God is love at all the time and that he is working for their good at all the time. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Let's pray for our friends and family who love us, care for our needs, listen to us in our desperation, comfort us in our sorrow, advise us with caring, care, with caring concern, and by their selflessness, bring us closer to God. Lord, cover them with your precious blood and protect them. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. For all the medical practitioners, for those who provide loving and compassionate care to the ill, the infirm, the elderly, the addicted, the poor, the hopeless, the abused, and uh, those affected by COVID-19, grant Lord courage, strength, and protection. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. It's also in a special way, pray for all who suffer. We place in your hands, Lord, those who lost their dear ones due to the pandemic, those afflicted by all sorts of ailments of heart, respiratory, and cancer, depression, disability, addiction, disappointment, poverty, hopelessness, and loneliness. May they trust that God will not abandon the work of his hands, but will abide with them, sharing in their joy and their pain. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let's also in a special way pray for all the departed. For all our dear ones who remain with us in our prayers and our memories. And for those who have died recently, especially Romel, Romero, Tom, Rita, Philip, Doreen, Melna, and Johnny, and others whom we remember. May they receive the grace of redemption and joy in their resurrected Lord in paradise. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So in especially special we pray for the teacher's intention, and for Florina, and for all the couples, <coughs> married couples, <coughs> the brokenness of their relationships, single mothers. Let's place ourselves in the hands of God, all our intentions. Let's also pray for those who ask of our prayers, those who are facing unemployment, for the First Holy Communion children, the Confirmation children, children with special needs, Let's pray for our uh, St. Edward School, all the, all the staff members there, let's pray some, all the children.
Let's also remember those who help us in manifold ways, in any way, those who help us. Let's remember them and pray. Those who bring our grocery for us, food for us, let's remember to pray for them. Let's also remember to play, place those places where now the, the pandemic is uh, increasing rapidly. So let's also pray for them, where the, the virus has been uh, becoming more contagious. Let's also pray for the situation here that slowly we are you know, easing out from the lockdown and then we are, we, are, we are preparing ourselves to open the church. So let's also pray for those individuals. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Now let's uh, pray to our lady to intercede for, to intercede with her for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are ye amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. May your mercy be beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting, they may obtain by your ready generosity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Become the spirit and contrite heart. May we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from iniquity and cleanse me from all my sins. <clears throat> Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord God, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death 
And by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without and we are clay. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving times that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants who have passed because of the COVID-19, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who are pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. O oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen.
At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who set your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let's offer it to the, the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I decide to receive you into my soul. Since I can now receive you sacramentally, 
Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God and God in him. May your healing work, O oh Lord, free as we pray from doing evil and lead us to what is right through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the mass descended to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So have a nice, wonderful afternoon, all of you. God bless you all. So tomorrow we'll see, see, uh, see you at the same time for prayers and uh, join me at, uh, for prayers. God bless you all and always remain safe. Thank you. God bless you. Take care.